。大家好 ，Hello everyone， 欢迎你们来到今天的课。Welcome to today's lesson， 我是 Courage 老师。I am Teacher Courage. 今天我们会学习中国商务礼仪和怎样预约。Today we'll be learning about Chinese etiquette and how to book an appointment. 你们准备好吗 ？Are you ready? 我们开始吧。Let's start. First, we're going to talk about the Chinese business etiquette. We're going to talk about about ten of them. Number one, workplaces in China are definitely hierarchical based on age and position. Number two, during business meetings, traditionally the host will give a quick speech greeting everyone before discussing the topic of the business. Number three, number three. Popular casual topics include comments of the local weather, food, points of interest, and economic development. Number four, make sure to avoid topics related to democracy, freedom of speech, Taiwan, and the likes. Number five, be sure to introduce the history, status, size. Reputation and wealth of your company. If not, expect that you'll be asked until all of these topics are covered. Number six, the Chinese often nods while a person speaks, but this does not necessarily mean agreement. Number seven, for the sake of saving face. The Chinese will seldom give a flat negative response to proposals made, even when they do not agree with it. Number eight. Similarly, don't immediately reject a proposal from a Chinese person or company. Number nine. Either use both hands or the right hand alone when giving a business card. And ensure that the writing is facing the other person, especially the side that is written in Chinese. And when you are also giving a business card, ensure not to quickly put it away. Linger a little and make sure to look at it before putting it in your card pouch or card holder. Otherwise, it will be considered rude. Number ten. It will be considered rude to interrupt, so refrain from doing so. Try to slow down and pause between points to give them an opportunity to speak. And make sure to be careful with numbers, because the number four is considered the lucky, but number eight is considered the luckiest number. So whatever number you're referring to or giving, maybe an item. Make sure not to use number four or give the number four. So there you go. These are some of the business etiquettes you need to remember when dealing with Chinese during business. Okay, now let's talk about booking appointments or making appointments. Zeyan Yu Yue, how to make an appointment? Okay, so now let's look at all the vocabularies that you can use when making an appointment or booking an appointment. Yueding, yueding, appointment is another word for appointment. Or you also have yu yue, yu yue, dianhua hao ma, dianhua hao ma. Telephone number. Shouji Hauma. Shouji Hauma. Cell phone number. D G. D G. Address. Dian Zi Yu Jin. D G. Dian Zi Yu Jin. D G. Email address. 请您说慢一点，好吗？请您说慢一点，好吗 ？Could you speak slower, please? 
so you can use this when you're over the phone and you're um, hardly grasping what the other person is saying so you can tell them to slow down with this phrase or tell the individual to slow down with this phrase so that you can catch what he's saying correctly now let's look at some phrases that we can add to the already um, established phrases that we've talked about now let's look at other phrases that we can use when can we meet What's a good time for you? Wa I am available this afternoon. Shi means time, to have time or to be free. So in place of Shi Jian, you can use Kon, right? It means free time to be free. How? Now another phrase that you can use is Ni Mi Tian Sha Wu Zhu Dian Yo Shi Jian or Koma Ni Mi Tian Sha Wu or you say comma so now let me use each of the verbs separately you simply means are you available tomorrow at 9 a.m Okay, Shan Wu is morning. Okay, so that's AM. Now another phrase is Woman Sidian Jen. Woman Sidian Jen. Woman Sidian Jen. See you at four. So you can use this phrase when you have already established an appointment. Alright. Dwe Buchi. Wahema. I'm sorry, I'm busy. I'm sorry, I have something else to do. Alright, so these phrases can be used when um, the other party is taking too much of your time. Or your appointments are not um, the time you're establishing for the appointments are not convenient. You can also use those phrases when you need to cancel an appointment. Okay, so now another phrase that can be helpful if, for example, health challenge is the reason why you're canceling. You can say, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling that well today. I would like to make an appointment to see the doctor. Alright, so you can use that expression when you need to make an appointment to see the doctor. Note that when it comes to an official appointment of any kind, punctuality is very crucial. Arriving five minutes late is considered very rude. And arriving 15 minutes late could mean the end of any business relations. Yes, it can ruin your business. So it's better to call ahead if you will be arriving late. But be prepared to provide a reasonable explanation. Alright, so now to say I want to make an appointment, you say... I want to make an appointment and then you can see what it, the appointment is about 
you want to make the appointment with. So now let's say, for example, you want to make an appointment to make your hair. Then you say, Washan Yu Yue. Washan Yu Yue. Jen Tou Fa. Washan Yu Yue. Tou Fa. Washan Yu Yue. Jen Tou Fa. Boa Yisi. Washan Yu Yue. Jen Tou Fa. I want to make an appointment to make my hair. Or if you want to make an appointment to see the doctor, you say, Washan Yu Yue Kan Yishon. Washan Yu Yue Kan Yishon. I want to make an appointment to see the doctor. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the sequence of making an appointment. Or, I mean, the expression how to construct your sentence. Now, if you want to make a request for a day, you want to make a request for a day, so you say Washan Yu Yue plus day. And if um, you are adding um, time, then the time will come after the day. So you have Washan Yu Yue plus day plus time. Okay, so that's the sequence. So, for example, let's say we want to make an appointment to see the doctor we want to make an appointment to see the doctor with day and um, time so now let's say we want to make an appointment to um, for tomorrow 2 p.m okay tomorrow afternoon by 2 p.m all right so now to say that the sequence is wash and you yue then the day and then the time so you say wash and you yue so the day now it's me tian sha wu time lian dian and then what you want to make an appointment for is kan yi shong to see the doctor so you say wo shan yu yue mi tian sha wu lian dian kan yi shong wo shan yu yue mi tian sha wu lian dian kan yi shong wo shan yu yue mi tian sha wu lian dian kan yi shong I want to make an appointment to see the doctor tomorrow afternoon by 2 p.m. So now if you are using a date in place of the day, then the sequence will be wash and you yue plus date plus time. Wash and you yue plus date plus time. Now if you want to use that um, sentence structure, we can have something like wash and you yue. I want to make an appointment. Ah, yue, ba hao, February 8th, which is the date. Sha wu san dian, sha wu san dian, 3 o'clock p.m. or 3 o'clock afternoon, which is the time. In the activity you booking the appointment for is kan yi shong. So that gives us Washan Yu Yue A Yue Ba Hao Sha Wu San Dian Kan Yi Shong Washan Yu Yue A Yue Ba Hao Sha Wu San Dian Kan Yi Shong I would like to make an appointment to see the doctor on February 8th, 3 o'clock p.m. So that's how you can book an appointment specifying the date and time. So if you follow this format, then you'll be able to book an appointment either over the phone or face to face. How? So your activity on this lesson is to write an appointment, write a sample appointment to see the doctor. So you're going to write a dialogue of you booking an appointment to see the doctor, either over the phone or face to face. How? Joshi GTN da ke. That is today's lesson. Do it wash well. Woman. Shasi Taijen ba. Bye bye Taijen. Washi courage. Lao Shi. Bye bye.